What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up to be notified for future readings. This daily tea, 1129 to 2022. Hope everybody's doing fantastical, my dears. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Uh, okay, so this is a really good one. 834 a.m., 1129 to 2022. Um... <laughs> My cat wants some water. He's scratching at the bowl. Hey, come here. I'll have to get it for you in a minute. Come, I'll get it for you in a second. Okay, so um, we're going to get into it. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. Um, thanks for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. It's really helping my channel grow. Um, so all the shares of, con of my content on social media and word of mouth, I really, really, really appreciate it because it, it helps tremendously. Okay. Okay, so the channel message I received was, you are an inspiration to the to the youth. I heard you're an inspiration to the youth, um, voice of the younger generation. You are inspiration to the youth, voice of the younger generation. So whoever you are, if this resonates for you, you are an inspiration to the youth, voice of the younger generation. Okay, let me get in some water. He keeps going on. Your voice, your... Your inspiration to younger feet, uh, younger feet, younger folks. Your inspiration to younger folks, for real, for real. Think of that song, um, we are, we are, the, the youth of the nation, we are, we are. That's the song I think of. Hold on a second, okay? Okay, yeah. So you're a voice to the youth, my dear. We are, we are the youth of the nation. Just saying, just saying. I forget who sings that, but um, that's what I think of. So, well, that's freaking awesome. Um, I think they are inspired by you. They look up to you. They uh, maybe for some they want to be you, or want, hopefully not be you like doppelganger, but. Be like you, like inspiration to be like you is what I'm feeling. Inspired to be like you. Um, that's beautiful. You are very much an inspiration to them, very much. You are very much an inspiration to them, very much. So that's confirmation. You are very much an inspiration to them, very much. And for one, someone was seriously messing with your vehicle in the past, trying to kill you via a motor vehicle accident, it's about to seriously backfire on them. Oh, shit. Okay. So you are youth, um, voice of the youth of the nation, basically. You're voice of the youth of the, youth, youth, youth of the nation. Um, they look up to you. They're inspired by you. They want to be like you. Um inspired to be like you. I don't think like doppelganger copycat energy. Um, they want to be like you, which is beautiful. If you are deserving to be in, um, to be an in inspiration is what I feel, but whoever you are, feel you, feel you are. <coughs> you, <coughs> you most certainly are. <coughs> yes. Yeah, somebody don't want me to speak. You see this? You most certainly are. Yeah, you are. That's confirmation for a spiritual realm. You are. And I heard, um, um, <clears throat> uh, for one of you, somebody was seriously messing with your vehicle in the past. I heard they wanted, um, uh, to mess with your vehicle to basically have you pass away in a motor vehicle accident to look like it was your fault, but it has backfired. So I don't know what the hell they did to your vehicle or attempted to do your vehicle. It could have been messing with lug nuts, brake lines, sugaring gas tanks, um, placing rats under the hood. Um, I've had that happen to me before. Um, however that resonates. Um, somebody was messing with your vehicle, but it has backfired. So whatever they did or attempted to do or got others to do or attempt to do to your vehicle, it has backfired. Um, 
And it's going to continue to backfire onto them. And it's going to continue to backfire onto them. So they tried to mess with your vehicle to you to cause you to get in a motor motor vehicle accident, so you would um, you would pass away, like cause a death in a motor vehicle accident. But it's about to boomerang energetically back upon them. Uh, I wonder if one of them is going to get in a motor vehicle accident. I didn't hear they were going to. I didn't hear they were going to, but it sounds like something's about to occur with their vehicle in some shape, form, or fashion. I mean, hell, that could be a flat tire. That could be um, a headlight out. I mean, it could I mean, it could be a crack in the windshield, um, or it could be a motor vehicle accident. But something's about to backfire upon them, so I think it, something is about to happen to them with their vehicle, or they're going to get in a motor vehicle accident. I didn't hear they were going to, but... Uh, it is something is about to buy a car upon their vehicle, I'll tell you that, or a motor vehicle accident. Something energetically regarding a vehicle or a motor vehicle accident. That's for one of you, though. There's several of you guys in this category, I'm feeling. Um, but for one, they seriously did mess with your vehicle in the past. And I can relate with that because um, my vehicle was messed with several times. And I think my shiesty ass little neighbors that moved out over here, I think they had a lot to do with that. And that's just the truth. I do. Vulnerability. These people have already been called out. <clears throat> the ones that messed with you in the past, they've already been called out. They're about to be called out more. It is about to start going downhill quick for them. These people that messed with you, um, they've already been, some have already been called out more, about to be called out more. It's about to start going downhill for them. I think for one, something's about to happen to their vehicle or they're about to get into a mobile vehicle accident. I'm just being for real. Um, they're vulnerable in the past. I think they, um, obviously, one, they messed with your vehicle. I think they were trying to control and domineer your ass to try to get you to shut up and not speak up about um, something that happened to you or somebody you care about or a very serious situation. Um, so they tried to control and dominate you or use scare tactics like mafia s type energy. Um, or, yeah, that's exactly what I think. Um, but, and I didn't hear that, that's just intuitively what I feel. Control and domination, but it is backfire. Vulnerability, now they're vulnerable. Serves our punk asses right, and that's just the truth. And for one, you are about to excel in your career in huge ways. <clears throat> quickly. And for one, you're about to excel in your career in huge ways quickly. So for one, excel means go, go. And for one, you're about to excel in your career quickly. So that's beautiful. So for one, you're about to excel. So move, ex go quickly in your career in a positive fashion. Um, serves their asses right. I think it's about to give them a wake up call when you start excelling in your career quickly. Um, they should have left your, their punk asses should have left your ass alone. That's not very professional. Um, uh, going around messing with people's vehicles, trying to cause them to go, uh, be in motor vehicle accidents, trying to mess up their destiny, um, their career path, their life, what have you, what have you. And for one, they're about to get a shocking phone call from a past sexual partner that lives far distances from them, secret child. And this person is going to file child support on them, and they will have to pay a lot of child support. A lot of child support. And it is going to piss them off. Oh my God, whoa. Okay, so for one of these punk asses that messed with you in the past, whoever you are, um, I feel 
probably the one that they messed with your vehicle. And like I said, I can relate because my vehicle was messed with several times. And my punk ass neighbors that used to live over there that have moved out since, and I've got new neighbors now, um, a nice little family over there. Um, uh, I know they had a lot to do with it, and that's just damn true. Do I suspect some of my other neighbors had some things to do with other things that have happened with me? Yeah, but they primary, and that's just true. And those people were huge ass drunks and domestic violence and talk nasty to their kids and all kinds of shit. Those little punk asses that used to live over there. And that's just the truth. They were terrible neighbors. Terrible. And I'm glad they're gone. But whoever you are, uh, for one of you guys, okay, so for one of you guys, somebody that messed with you in the past, if this resonates with you, somebody that messed with you in the past, um, they, I think they tried to slow you down, stop you, um, or take you out with a motor, make it look like it was a motor vehicle accident, like cause of death, motor, oh, motorist error, motor vehicle accident, when in all reality, they probably cut your brake line, or put sugar in your gas tank, or, um, uh, loosened a lug nut or something, you see what I'm saying? Um, but, they're, um. One of them is about to experience some negative karma, it sounds like. Wake up call. I heard apparently they have had some kind of sexual connection with somebody out of their area in the past. Um, and the, the apparently it, it sounds like it's their child. Um, it is most certainly their child. For one, they it is two, two plus. For one, they will request a paternity test and they're about to they will be humiliated because it is their child. Okay, so it's at least two of these people. Um, for one, they're going to request a paternity test because they don't think it's their child. But I heard they will be humiliated because it is their child. But at least two of them, the punk asses that messed with you in the past, uh, they're about to get phone calls, surprise phone calls from baby mamas um, that live out of their area. So they went out, traveled out, all the while they're messing with your vehicle, messing with you, and doing shiesty shit to you. Um, but yet, they... They just think they can do whatever the hell they do. Travel outside uh, their area, go sleep with whoever they want to sleep with. Well, at least two of them, confirmation my kitty, at least two of them has secret ch children. Uh, but don't sound like the children are about to be secret anymore because baby mamas are about to file for child support um, on their ass. And I heard it's going to be a lot of it. So I think they make a lot of money or their trust fund baby or something of that nature where they have a lot of money. Uh, to where it would incur large child support, monthly child support. Because child support is based on income. So, it's about to give them wake-up calls. Well, serves them right. Um, and that's just the damn truth. I mean, you can't go around expecting to splay your seed everywhere and not have to pay child support. And that's just the damn truth. These sound like very immature people. And at least two of them are masculine, I'll tell you that. Because they have Splayed their seed in somebody so much enough to create a secret child to um, about to get child support filed on their ass. Wake up call. About to be submerged in child support. New beginnings. The baby mama about to contact for child support. They're about to be vulnerable. A series of chain of events are about to unfold. The baby mama is about to contact. And for one, a motor vehicle, something to do with their car, a motor vehicle accident, or something. Because they messed with your motor vehicle um your motor vehicle in the past damn There's about to be huge positive changes for you. Huge positive changes. Your life is about to completely turn around in a positive way. Okay, I heard there's about to be huge positive changes. Huge. Your life is about to completely turn around in a positive way. So, 
You plug it in how it resonates. There's about to be a huge positive changes. Your life will start to turn around in a positive way. Well, good. It should. And that's just the truth. Because um, it sounds like you deserve it. I mean, these people sound like mafia-style criminal wannabes. And that's just the damn truth. Mafia-style criminal wannabes. They don't do things upright. Proper policies, procedures, etc., et protocols, etc., etc., etc. They like to do it behind the scenes, sneaky and chasey. Spirit messages here, I like this. Strength and leadership. Heard it's about to start happening fast. So I think that's the patience reversed. Number 18 could be very significant number. One card, number 18. Also, number 2 or 39 could be a very significant number. But I heard it's going to happen fast. So uh, I think that's the stillness reversed. Still, uh, I'm sorry, patience reversed. Patience reversed. It's about to happen in a flash overnight. Um, fast. I heard fast, but I feel it could happen overnight or in a flash or. Some kind of eight of wands energy, fast. Whether it is overnight, in a flash, or what have you, what have you. Okay. Strength, leadership. Her beautiful things are about to start happening for you. Your life is about to completely turn around. But it's probably because these people don't have a chokehold on your damn life anymore. I feel they were stalking you and lurking you and gang stalking you and trust me if anybody knows about gang stalking it is me me and my kids were gang stalked for like two damn years and i feel it was retaliation from a previous company i worked at in compass health rehabilitation hospital not i don't know if it was from the company or i don't think it was from the company i think it was from the people in my city that worked at that company and that's just the truth um i don't blame the company for it i blame the assholes in that company that did that shit to me can I prove it was them? No. But do I know it was them? Yes. And I think especially one of those assholes that works in that company or did work in that company, I think he recruited his little buddy pal friends that works at the other hospital that I worked at the beginning of this year. Because, I mean, you're talking about the most immature nurses I've ever met in my life. I thought they were bad at Encompass Health. No. There was one very particular immature nurse that worked at Encompass Health there, for sure. But... Do I think most of his friends work at Crestwood? Yes, is what I'm trying to say. Because I have never met so many immature nurses in my life that have congregated in one hospital as Crestwood Medical Center. And that is just the truth. Young, immature, spoiled, terrible. I mean, not all of them were young, but... There were some immature older ones, like the one that slammed the door on my hand. He was an old man. So they wasn't all young, but that were immature. Because that man that slammed the door on my hand was terrible. And he was older. Strength and leadership. You are about to be in a very conducive environment to be able to showcase your leadership skills, and it is about to show. It is about to show in a huge way, a very huge way. You are about to impress the hell out of a lot of people. Things are about to start moving very fast for you. Okay, I heard you're about to be in a very conducive, positive environment to be able to showcase your leadership skills. So I think you're very strong with the strength. Um, and I think you are a good leader or you're learning to become a good leader. How that resonates and applies. Um, you're about to be in very conducive environment. So conducive means, um, a positive environment, um, to be in, to showcase your leadership skills. And this aspect is leadership skills. So, um, and I heard it's going to, it's going to pay off. Uh, it doesn't sound like you're in this environment yet, but you're about to be, and it's about to pay off. And, um, you are about to um, be able to um, flourish in a positive way, basically. It's really beautiful. We have the strength with the leadership. I don't think these people were trying to kick you out of your um, your place you currently live in. I think they were trying to scare you so bad um, with bullying, harassment, targeting, or gang stalking that they were trying to scare you to move away is what I think. They most certainly were. Excuse me. That's confirmation. They most certainly were. Excuse me. They were. But it's about to backfire on them in huge ways. 
but it's about the background and who's right. So they were. That's confirmation. They were trying to scare you to move away. They're very. These people were very selfish, greedy, and immature. And basically, they were trying to scare you to move away. But it didn't happen. Um, and now it's about the energy is about to boomerang back upon them. It's about to backfire on them. Sounds like you're about to be in a very healthy environment to be able to grow and flourish. And I heard you're about to impress the hell out of a lot of people. For some, I feel this could be school environment. This could be a school environment. This could be an apprenticeship. This could be an uh, entry-level position. This could be not an entry-level position. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. But whoever you are, you face adversity um, from the hateration, basically. You face adversity from the hateration, and it's about to pay off for you in a positive way. All right, I love you guys. I'm going to go eat me some oatmeal, my old 39-year-old self. I love you guys. Namaste.